once a time, not too long ago, when we thought we were invincible. The biggest, baddest force on the planet. We lived in relative peace, without real fear that anyone, anything, could challenge us. But one morning in March 2011, we were invaded by a force that we never could have imagined. And things, well, things will never be the same again. This just in, there have been reports this morning of as of yet unidentified objects that appear to be falling into the coastal waters off Santa Monica. Early reports are that these objects might very well be meteor... Well, well are you sure about this? Okay. We, we have just received word that similar occurrences are being reported in Buenos Aires and Tokyo. It is not yet confirmed whether these falling objects are meteors or some other unexplained weather phenomenon. They really thought it was a meteor shower. They didn't take long for them to change their minds. We were getting sent into the heart of it. And no one needs an arsenal to clear out a bunch of space rocks. We have analyzed film of the falling objects and their trajectory from satellite imagery. These objects are slowing down substantially before impact with the surface of the water. I think the implications of this are pretty clear. Yeah, they were clear all right. We were under invasion, and it wasn't the goddamn Taliban. Phase two, we had three hours. Three hours to evac some civvies holed up in a police station in Santa Monica. We needed to get in and get out before our birds carpet bombed the area back to the Stone Age. It was easier said than done. There were just a few of us, Staff Sergeant Nance, an old timer with a bad reputation personality to match. But man could he lead. When all was said and done, he would turn the tide of this war. We're almost there. Hang on. So, you girls ready for a fight? Hell yes, Staff Sergeant. Hell yeah. Good. You listen to me, you're just like get out of this alive. You have to hold down. There's no place for landing here. All right. Everyone out. Use the ropes. Move, move, move. What? 
Watch your asses! Sergeant Santos, Air Force, 61st Wing Intel Unit. The rest are National Guard. What happened to you, Tech Sergeant? I was part of a five-man team working on signal intel, tracking enemy transmissions. We got onto some massive RF signals. Then they nailed us. I'm the only one who got away. I assume you were ready to use that weapon, Tech Sergeant. I did a tour with a joint unit in Afghanistan, Staff Sergeant. So yes, I'm ready to get some payback. Be careful with your radio, Staff Sergeant. Ten minutes ago, we called headquarters. And you see what happened. Aliens rushed to our location like hungry dogs. Thanks for the information. Do you want to join our unit? Run right into the police station to evacuate civilians. No, Staff Sergeant. We'll stay here. Take care of the wounded and wait for the chopper. Do you need help? Negative, Staff Sergeant. Good luck. Gotta keep moving. Keep it tight.
Anybody hit? They got me!
handful of civilians from that police station. But with the aliens controlling the skies, there was no way we were getting out of there by air. We needed to find some transport or we'd never make it out alive. One of our guys hopwired a city bus, and we made our way out to Santa Monica as quietly as we could. When we hit the freeway, we thought we were finally out of the danger zone. But we were wrong. Those air units are gonna find us. Won't we'll make it out of here. That attitude, but then for sure. We'll be in the clear soon. Just keep it together. Look, the freeway's blocked. There's a fight going on. I told you. But there was no way it would be that easy. Quiet! Stop the bus! Harris, take the civilians out! Santos, Imlay! Follow me! Spot on the home beat. Man the turret to take out as many of them as you can. Found cover!
ASAP. Zone with no time to spare. And while we managed to save the civilians, things were looking pretty grim. Carpet bombing never happened. The aliens controlled the skies, and with them, Los Angeles had fallen. Word from HQ was retreat and regroup. But Nance had another idea in mind. Hey! You know, I was thinking. We checked out the alien ship we took down. It was empty. No pilot. These ships, they're. They're drones, but they somehow managed to fly in formation. What do you think this means? Don't know, but something has to be controlling them. And if we can figure out what it is, maybe we can destroy it and take back the skies. Damn it! My controls have gone haywire! Brace yourself! Looks like we're going down hard! Phew! We're good now. What the hell? heavily guarded. I wonder what they're doing there. Yeah, you're right. Something is causing powerful radio interference all over this region. There has to be something important down there. Something big. Santos, that's it. Command and control might be down there. Get the helo down. We need to recon that area. Doesn't seem to be anything around, Staff Sergeant. We need to search the area. Stay close. We'll be ready to fight. They're not letting up! Oh. Ah. Inlet! Go ahead and flash the walking guns to take them out! We'll hold them off until you finish the job! <laughs>
control. Gotta be. Let's get to the surface and call in a strike on this thing. If we destroy it, the skies over Los Angeles will be clear of the enemy. Paris, look out!
Police! Took damage!
day we helped protect the streets and air from destruction. Good men gave their lives to protect the city. Los Angeles may be safe, but we're far from victory. We'll continue to fight back against alien invasion no matter how dangerous it becomes. Earth needs to be saved, because we're the Marines, and the Marines don't quit. <laughs>